Welcome back. Well, the UAE has commissioned its first green hydrogen plant in Dubai. The project, developed by Siemens Energy and local partners, is the first of its kind in the Middle East. It's all aimed at accelerating a renewable energy push in a region still mostly dependent on fossil fuels. Power for the project will come from Dubai's solar park, and the green hydrogen will be used to help decarbonize a number of sectors and industries. I spoke exclusively with Siemens Energy CEO, who is a member of CNBC's ESG Council, for more. There's a lot of reasons why to do it in the UAE. First of all, I think it's always a region which likes to lead the way, right? I mean, you, it's a project where you need to have some pioneering spirit, right? And this is what I always found here in the UAE. And uh, also you need to see this conjunction with the renewable energy. I mean, the region is not only blessed by, with hydrocarbons, but also with abundant resources of renewable energy. And this will be an important element in the green hydrogen discussion. It's not only about a hydrogen molecule. It's about how do you make sure that you connect the upstream part, the renewable energy to it. And this is obviously where the region sticks out. And it has one other element. It has companies and people here who know energy inside out. A couple of questions about this plant in particular. How soon before it's commercially viable? Uh, as a company, we look carefully on this because obviously, but we're investing a lot of money to develop this technology. Um, but I think we're now in a situation where some of these elements could accelerate very fast. If I look back on photovoltaics, it is not so long ago that everybody of us said it, it will never fly commercially, right? Wind the same, right? It's never be going to be competitive against hydrocarbons. It will not work, right? It went much, much, much faster than we all believed once it got scaled. And the same thing we may see here. We still have some way to go. So we still need bold movers and this pioneering spirit. But I think now with these type of projects, we can accelerate. How much green hydrogen is the UAE going to be able to produce? And do you see a future when the UAE might actually be able to export hydrogen? Um, I wouldn't see the limitation really on it from a UAE perspective, seeing also the massive uh, resources you have on the renewable side. And I do believe it must be, it will be, it should be one of the key future commercial models in the UAE and the wider region to be also in future an energy exporter for the world. As we move through this energy transition, when you take a step back, what do you personally think is the biggest obstacle to achieving net zero? I think we don't have a technical problem. The technology is available and the companies who can implement it and the companies who can operate it. The regulations and really the understanding also in the different societies to accept this and what it means, I think this will be our time determining factor uh, to really get to net zero. Um, but uh, this is why I think these type of projects we are discussing here are so important. Because these projects you can only discuss, or these problem solvings you can only discuss once you see it in a real project. Otherwise, you're only discussing theory. And uh, this is now what we're all trying to do with, with the things uh, like this project to explain what it means also in terms of change for each and everybody.